We're working on the trailer and this was our idea to get the uh, bow out of the one tongue piece here. We actually, I was going to do it at home if they didn't get a chance to do it here, but we're getting a lot of work done today. We actually took the tire, the weight of the tire, and actually dropped it down on that tongue piece that was bowed. And it's actually taken all the bow out of it and we're trying to get it to crown a little bit. Maybe if we can, we're letting it set. But this is the third drop we've had and we use these little shims so that we don't overextend it and kink it. So we'll only let it go down in a quarter of an inch increments. And now it'll either, when we're done here, it'll either be perfectly straight or have a slight crown, which is what I want on it. So the next step is getting the angle iron pieces, which we found a nice piece of scrap angle iron that Mike is working on, cleaning it up. And we're going to weld that into the deck frame. And there's, there's Mike volunteering to do the brush work. And just broke, just dropped and broke my angle iron pieces. I broke them. Yeah, he broke them. So what we're going to, uh, what we're going to do with the angle pieces? We got two 14-inch angle pieces, and they're going to go. This part of the trailer is what bent before, and I re-straightened it out. But it's obviously going to be weaker, even with it being straightened out. So we're going to actually gusset it in here with uh, the angle iron pieces. We're going to put a 14-inch piece here, and on the other side where it bent to, another 14-inch piece. And it can only come this far because we don't want to interfere with bolting this back together and keeping it flat and true like it used to be. And that'll give us plenty of reinforcement because the bend was back farther. And all, all I will have to do because of the length of the piece is drill these three holes because they will obviously be blocked by the support piece. So I've got some nice cobalt drill bits at home so if we don't get around to drill into here, I'll drill it when we get back home. And we'll end up having about 90% of the work done. When I get back home, there won't be much for me to do. We'll have that trailer pretty much all fixed up and supported and everything. Thanks to the help of the Buckeye Boys and uh, Muzzle watching, Mike. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and here, here's, the, here's the guy. Do you know we called him a Jaffo? Yeah. Just That's another just another freaking observer. Yeah. <laughs> I can't use the regular F word because uh, YouTube will demonetize my yeah. channel. Not that I make any money anyway. He's rich. Yeah, that's right. I'm rich already, so I don't need to monetize. Yeah. <laughs>